This is a branch that I don't need to come to very often because it's always performing, it's always at the top. Um, maybe learn a few things that they're doing that I can spread to my other branches. You don't have to be a robot to be successful. You can have fun and still be successful and take care of things in the order that they need to be taken care of. I'm always looking to do some kind of joke. It just makes a day go by so much quicker. Ah! Uh -oh. I'm out of here. I come here to this branch when like, I'm, my spirits are down or maybe things are not going all the way right and I'll come here just to give me that lift up so I can grab some things that they're doing. It's just, they just make it fun and by making it fun, they don't even realize they're just doing a fabulous job. Fabulous job. I think we've all worked at a place that, you know, you just go into work, it's all quiet, you, you're bored, you're sitting there, you're watching the clock. It's not too many days that we watch the clock unless we are out of caffeine. I mean, we're always having fun. You know, we're throwing stuff, you know, we're having a good time. If it gets slow and the phone's not ringing, a ball fight might break out. But that positive energy makes the phone ring. I don't know why, I don't know how it works, it just happens. And I think your environment that you work in creates a a, a good feeling inside of you that makes you want to work harder. Tony and Steve are like my family, so like I don't dread coming to work. Like you know, I know you know coming in like someone if someone's in a bad mood or if I'm in a bad mood, I know someone's going to cheer me up because if someone's in a bad mood, I'm going to get some, hit with something if I'm being grumpy or vice versa. If Steve's complaining about his sales credits. <laughs> I've always considered myself kind of kind of weird, kind of quirky. Boom. And I have a kind of a weird sense of humor and. I never thought that I would find one, you know, coworker, let alone two, that are the same as me. So it makes it really easy, really fun to come to work every day. This house was one of my best friends uh, from high school's house. He lived here with his mom, and I loved her. She was a teacher in the in the district. Um, she happened to die of cancer, just like my mom. She just knew the love between Tony and I and the love for our kids, and they wanted us to have this space that had the yard, that had the river, that had the, the tree house, because she had seen her kids grow up here, and she wanted that same um, experience for me and my children. Ava, she's my oldest from my first marriage. She's such a perfectionist at everything. It's funny because my two girls are so different. They're on two ends, totally different ends of the spectrum. Ava's kind of calm and laid back. And Camille, my little one, she's a little spitfire. You don't have to be in front to be the leader. And I think if you empower those working for you, working with you, to lead on their own, then it makes your job easier. You know, Tony, being a being the manager, um, it, you couldn't ask for better because he just he understands what motivates Jen and I. Um, you know, if he was like over our shoulder all the time, you know, up, all up in our business micromanaging, that's not what we need. And he knows the reports as well as I do, and I've got 25 years of reading the reports, and he can read those reports. He knows how to analyze them to get what he needs. If he didn't help guide me, like how much money I really needed each day, or how many units, where I'm at, you know, he's always telling me, okay, you know, in order to beat this person, they're beating you, you need to get your auto pay up, you need to get an auto secure loan, you need to, you know, focus on some growth here, or you need a home and auto unit. Like he's always letting me know what I need to do. So I'm like, okay, so then I can focus. Basketball is like my, my zen place. He plays in a rec league like it's an NBA final. Basketball is what taught me how to be a part of a team. And being a part of a team is not always about me. It's about the other ones around me and how can I put them in positions to be successful. This whole house is competitive. It's not just me, it's Tammy, Camille, Ava. We're all competitive. We want to win at all costs. Bowl is the same way. Yeah. I always
always say they, my dad and my family contacts Tony more than they contact me. I mean, they really, truly love him. Well-centered guy, I really liked him. Right off the bat, he just he was very calm and, and uh, respectful. Uh, his grandmother raised him, I think, most of his life, and she did a very good job. It's, it's a challenge sometimes, but in the end, we, I think we, we have a pretty good team at getting things done together. I sometimes have to be at work at 6.30 and work until 7 or 8 o'clock at night. Every morning, he's responsible for dropping her off. When he comes home at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night, he's typically getting her bath. I'm doing dinner. He's getting her ready. So it's just amazing to see him as a father because he didn't have his own father figure. And so he's just exceptional in that role. We enjoy spending time with friends. We, Tammy loves to cook. She loves to entertain. I just like to hang out with friends and have a good time. She does the cooking part. I do the eating. We have a lot of fun together. Um, a lot of our friends have kids also, so we, we try to get them together, let them run around and play and jump. You have to know your employees. You have to know what drives them, and you have to know what places, what make, what are they successful at? And then you're, when you're able to point that out and help them to see those things, the sky is the limit for them as well as the branch. It's not about making money for him, it's about helping people. And I think at the end of the day, that's what really counts is that you're able to help people and make a difference in people's lives. And I think that's what motivates him to do what he does. I just can't say enough of how proud I am to be his wife. and how an amazing father he is with not having that role model. And um, he's just, he's given me the life that I didn't think that I could have. Happy birthday to you. We love you, go mom. There's oh, a wet. Oh, 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 oh.